Google Meet is a great way to meet with parents or students or even colleagues. And one of the nice features within Google Meet is your option to share your screen. And you can do this a few different ways. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. When I'm in a Google Meet session as I am right now, I currently I'm here by myself. I don't have any um, participants in here with me, but that's OK. When I want to share my screen with anybody who might be in this meeting with me, then I have an option down here, of course, it says present now. If I click that, I see three more options. The only way this button would look different potentially is if I was already in a meeting with somebody and they were sharing their screen. In that case, instead of present now, I would actually see their name is presenting. And that's okay. You can actually have as many people sharing their screens all at the same time as you want. You can have an entire class sharing their screen with you if you want. And it just means that on this people panel, you will see all of those participants listed twice, once with their webcam and once with the screen that they are sharing. Now, in my case, I'm going to look at these three options here. I can go with my entire screen, in which case I would click it. And I have actually two screens up right now. I have a monitor running with some software, and then I have the screen that we're viewing in uh, Google Meet here. This screen will pop up regardless of how many screens you've actually got connected to your machine, though, unfortunately, which means if I've only got one screen up, you need to click that one screen in order to get the share button to light up. So always, when you present a window, click the screen, then come and hit the share button. That will let that pop right up, and it's going to let me know that, hey, you're presenting your screen. And it will take over this space here to let me know that I am presenting to everyone. If I am over here, I'm going to see myself and anybody else who might be in this meeting with me. Now, right now, what it essentially means is that everybody in that meeting is going to see whatever I present. So if I switch to a web page right now, they're seeing absolutely everything. And it lets me know down here at the bottom of the screen with this little floating window thing that Meet is now sharing your screen. So at any moment, I can either hide that if I needed people to be able to see what was at the bottom of my screen, or I can hit the big blue button and just stop that sharing right now. So I'd be able to come over to, say, Drive and show people how to create, I don't know, new drawings or something and do a whole little demo on drawings if that's what I wanted to be sharing. And as soon as I'm done, I would just click on Stop Sharing right here. That's the quickest way to get to that. And immediately, my meeting stops sharing, and now it's just... Uh, me and my participants again. The next option under present now for sharing that is going to be to share a single window. Well, in this case, I've got a few different windows running right now. I've got my Chrome window running, and then I've also got OBS, which is the software I'm using to record this actual demo video. So with the application window option, basically anything that you have running, whether it was Word or Chrome or anything really, whatever software you have running, you'd be able to choose that window specifically. Now the downside of that is that if I were to pick Chrome and then wanted to show you something else, another program say, I wouldn't be able to do that right away. I'd have to stop the sharing and then come down to present now and share the other window. So it has pros and cons for sure. It does allow you to say share a window and I could be sharing say smart notebook or Chrome and then in a separate window, I could be doing attendance with PowerSchool and the students wouldn't be able to see that other window running because I'm only sharing a single window. And the last option here is a tab. And it lets you know right there, best for video and animation. So if you're ever looking to share a YouTube video with your students and you want them to be able to see the video and hear the video, most importantly, this is the option for you. You want to go with share a tab and now because tabs are, of course, just tabs within Chrome, it says right away, all right, what tab do you want to share? Well, maybe I'll go to this one, video details or channel content for right now, and share it. And immediately what it's going to show me is obviously the page that I'm currently sharing, but then at the top it also says sharing this tab to googlemeet.com or meet.google.com, and I can just stop that whenever I want. But if I then was showing a video and suddenly said, okay, now I want to show you something, say, up here in Drive, I can click on Drive, and I can even, like, get a file open and get things prepped for me, because right now it lets me know that I'm still sharing that other tab. I haven't 
started sharing this tab yet. So while my audience is over here, say, watching a video maybe, I can be on this tab getting it ready to show them something about I don't know, Google Drawings. I can get my drawings started while they are currently watching that video. And then when the video is done, I'm going to click up here on Share This Tab Instead, and suddenly my audience is going to see this tab. And I can start showing them how to create a uh, image in Google Drawings. When I'm done, of course, I can just say stop. I'm no longer sharing at all. That little blue symbol disappeared from my tab over here and I'm back onto my Meet and no longer sharing anything with them other than maybe my audio and webcam. So you've got three different options for how you might share this um, screen or anything that you've got really that you want to share. Generally, your entire screen is going to be the easiest option because you're not switching back and forth and wondering, am I sharing the right thing and can they see what I'm doing? But when you do want to have that flexibility, you can start choosing between these other options. Um, again, that last one being the best one if you need to send audio. When you choose the entire screen option and start playing a video, it doesn't send the audio through um, because it doesn't assume that you want audio from your machine to get picked up by the microphone and be played for everybody. This last option does that for you. So you got three options there for how you might share your screen when you're in Google Meet.